Hi everyone, welcome to another ClickFunnels 2.0 tutorial. In today's video, I want to show you how to create products in ClickFunnels 2.0 and connect them to your funnel. As you will see in a moment, managing products in ClickFunnels 2.0 is quite easy. One of the most important characteristics of the products in ClickFunnels 2.0 is that they are universal. What does it mean? You only need to create your products once and then you can add them to any funnel, any page that you want. If you use ClickFunnels Classic or 1.0, you may remember that there we actually needed to add products to each funnel separately. And now let's dive straight into it. Let's create two products one of them we will use as a main product and the other one as an order bump, which is also super simple to do in ClickFunnels 2.0. To create your products, go to the Products tab here and then click Create Product. At the moment I cannot choose physical or bundle as a product type, but I'm sure it will be available in the future. Give your product a name and here you can also add a description and click Create Product. Here you can choose a price for your product. Do you want to charge your customers only once? Is it a one-time payment? Then you enter an amount here. If it's a subscription product, you need to enter the price per payment and also how often your customer should be charged. Every month, every quarter, every year. And if you want to offer a payment plan, you also need to add amount per payment, how often your customers will be charged and amount of payments. As you can see, it's quite straightforward. Let's go with the one-time payment for now. Click Create Price. All right, now we have our main product created and in the settings of the product on this page, we can add additional information. Let's go over the options that we see on this page. I also want to point out that a lot of things that were not available in ClickFunnels Classic for product management, for example, adding an image to the product, are available in ClickFunnels 2.0 and that's super awesome. Let's add an image to the product and this image can be visible on your checkout page. You can either upload an image from your device or add it from the gallery. Next, you can adjust the price that we assigned to the product when we created the product or you can add additional prices. Also, if your product is taxable, you can enter the tax category here. In which cases you need to add additional price to your product. For example, you're making a launch and you have an early bird price, price for the people who buy until the specific deadline and the price after that deadline. You can enter all those prices here for this product. You can give the pricing options a name, for example, early bird price, and this name will also be visible on the checkout. I also like that you can enter this compare ad amount. Let me explain what it means. For example, if you're running a sale and you want to find out that usually you would charge a much higher amount for this product, you would enter this amount here and the price that you're charging right now, because your customers are so lucky and they get this product with a discount, you should enter here. And if you are adding multiple pricing options for your product, you can also turn on and off the visibility of this pricing option. If you turn it off, then the price will be hidden during the checkout. Let's move further. Here you can enter the keeping unit for your product if you need it. And what I also like in the product management in ClickFunnels 2.0, that already here in the settings of the product, you can set up if the purchase of this product gives access to digital assets or to some of your courses that are hosted in ClickFunnels. For example, you would just need to click plus and then select a digital asset that your product is tied to. The next cool thing that you can add variations of your product, for example, different sizes or different colors, and you can do it here. Also quite straightforward and intuitive. And last but not least, you can enter the SEO and showing settings for your products. The information about your products in ClickFunnels 2.0 is searchable. That's why here you can set up how the search engines and also social networks, if somebody shares the link to a product, will display your product description, information, and also an image. In addition to that, you can add text to your products and also set the visibility of this product in your online store and customer center. Please be careful with this setting, the visibility in the customer center because customer center is where your courses are hosted and that's what your customer sees if he gets access to your course and if you enable the visibility here and don't customize the customer center before it may not look the way you want it to. All right I will quickly create an order bomb product and then we can connect the products to our funnel. Click create product. Again it's a digital product 
and it's an Audubon product. We're going to charge $27 one time and click create price. I will also add an image and update the product. Before I show you how you connect your products to your funnel in ClickFunnels 2.0, if you don't have a ClickFunnels 2.0 account yet, you can find links to a free trial in the description of this video. You can start a regular 14-day trial or take a free Your First Funnel challenge and get an extended 30-day trial of ClickFunnels 2.0. It's all explained in the description. In any case, if you use our link, you will get a ClickFunnels 2.0 course as a bonus to help you master the platform faster. And if you're already using ClickFunnels 2.0, in the description you can also find some packages that will help you to save a huge amount on your subscription. Now back to the topic at hand, we go into our funnel. I already have a funnel here with an order form. To add your products to the order form, you either click this icon or the three dots menu, and then click Add Products. When you already have products added, this text will say Manage Products. Then click Add Product. Select the product that you want to add. We're selecting our main product. If you open the settings of the product, here you can overwrite the product default title and description that we set up in the settings and check the availability and prices of this product. And next we add our Audubon product. And you can either drag it here, you can see the Audubon section, or in the settings of the product, check the checkbox, product is an Audubon. Now let's preview our page and see how the products look on the order form. All right, that's our page, except cookie notice here. By the way, if you're wondering how you can add a cookie notice and privacy policy and cookie policy to ClickFunnels 2.0, I made a separate video about it and you can watch it by clicking on the card that will appear in this corner. Now let's see, we have our main product, the price that we set for the product is correct. And if we scroll to the bottom, we have our order bomb product that is priced at $27. The last thing that I wanted to mention that if you want to change the look of your product, for example, if you would like to change the color of this text or the font or the text size and so on, you can do it in the settings of the checkout form. For that, you would need to go to the funnel step, click edit to open the funnel editor. Here you would need to select the settings of the checkout element and if you scroll down, you will find the settings for the checkout element in general and also for our main product, product section here, and for the order bump. After that, don't forget to save the changes. That's it for today. You can see that it's quite simple to create products in ClickFunnels 2.0 and also add them to your funnel. If this video was helpful, give it a thumbs up, subscribe to our channel and don't forget to enable notifications do not miss out on our future videos about ClickFunnels 2.0 and funnels in general. And if you believe that this video will be helpful to somebody else that you know, don't hesitate to share it with them. Thank you for watching and see you in other videos. Bye-bye.